we don't know exactly how hackers broke into Yahoo, but we do know is that over 500 million user accounts were stolen and it happened back in 2014. Even more concerning, Yahoo indicated that they believe a foreign government was the culprit. Well, the reality is Yahoo may not have known themselves. It's not uncommon for cyber sleuths to break into a network and be f uh, f flying under the radar for multiple years before anyone knows that it happens due to poor early detection capabilities. Well, it's either gonna be cyber fraud or it's gonna be cyber espionage. In the case of cyber fraud, your user accounts are like gold to cyber fraudsters and so much more interesting than emails in your account about your cat. If you're like over 50% of, of Americans that uses the same username and password on multiple sites, it's like you're playing Russian roulette with your data. Think about it. With your Yahoo account credentials, they could make, break into your frequent flyer program, um, your hotel loyalty program, maybe even your bank information. There's actually a, a thriving online marketplace for the buying and selling of sensitive account credentials by cyber fraudsters. For organizations that are on the internet, it is not a question of if they'll be broken into, it's just a question of when. And so organizations have so many ways that hackers can break in that they need to update the ways that their employees log into the network using strong two-factor authentication instead of typical usernames and passwords. This is not just proving that you have a password, but that you actually are who you say you are. Security experts generally recommend that you change your passwords on a frequent basis every three months, but more importantly, don't use the same passwords on multiple sites. That provides an entrance not just into one place, but into your entire personal life and putting your most sensitive information, all your financial details at risk to cyber hackers.